very good initial ideas have been institutionalized in a way that makes them difficult to comprehend, that makes them uh, makes the people who are exposed to them feel bad, and this is bad for learning. Who, who of you knows this PDCA cycle? Okay. Who, who, what, to whom is this new? Okay, two people are raising their hand. Okay, so it's fairly well known, and it's uh, also called the short cycle because it is is originated um, by a name called Schubert, of which a colleague was, Edward Deming, who is the quality guru who initiated the TQ TQM movement kind of 20 years ago. So, in the original sense of Deming, this plan, do and check, act was a knowledge generating cycle in the true sense. So I just write down what, what uh, he supposed to do. Plan a change or a test. Second step, carry it out, do it. And do it on a small scale. Third step. Study the results. There's actually a variant which is, which is called PSCA. It is study the results. And what did we learn? And now the final step. Act, this means adopt, or abandon it, or do again with different parameters. So, you will find this in the ISO 9001 standard, but it's a horrible interpretation of it. It starts not with the change, planning of a change or a test, starts with objectives. It starts with results. Now where is the result in the initial cycle and where is it right now? Any ideas? Result? The result is at the third step. And now we're moving it into the first step. Big difference. Here, it's only in the ISO standard implemented. And I hear the manager yelling, implemented, implemented. 
third stage. Monitor. Um, the third, the third st step is monitor it. What a, what, what a difference to study and check. So we are not talking about uh, making a judgment, but somehow controlling it without question, questioning whether it's really good or bad. And the real consequence is, the true consequence or the, the natural consequence is, improve it. So we are certain that the change per se is good. But we never question the change. And what I see in practice in uh, a lot of organizations is that they have a lot of things coming in, model after model. But there's no checking on a small scale, no checking whether it's good or bad, and no abandoning. Because not everything that is new is good. In contrast to a lot of what, uh, to, to what a lot of consultants will say you. So, if you look at this, you see how a very good idea, which is at the same time a quality cycle as well as an innovation cycle. Because during innovation, we have the same, you can apply the same thing, but written in black and not written in, in, in red. And this will generate a lot of intrinsic energy inside your organization. Because this is, the red one is command and control. The black one is learning. Okay?